Hi, this is Derek Ralston from Photography by Derek Ralston here with another studio tip. I'm frequently asked and I see posts on the board asking whether or not uh, the flash that they have has enough power to be able to overpower the sun or be able to work in a certain situation. Did you know that any strobe that you have can be varied in power without ever touching any of the power controls? The way that you can do that is to simply change the reflector. The reflector that you use on your strobe has a huge difference in the amount of light that is delivered to your subject. It doesn't change the actual power of the strobe, but it does either more effectively or less effectively deliver that light. Let me show you. These three reflectors are exactly the same size, but in order, this is the lowest power, medium power, and highest power as far as the throw of light to the subject. So if you need a little more light, you can go with one that's a lot more reflective with a little bit more efficient shape. If you don't need that much power, if you need to scale back a little bit, you can go with one with a little bit different finish. And this is all within the same size. Now another way that you can control that power is to control where that light goes. A certain amount of light comes out of that strobe. If you concentrate it, just like you do with a magnifying glass uh, burning ants, uh, you have all that power going in one spot. But one of the ways you can reduce your power is to let the light spill out. So not all of the light energy goes towards your subject, it goes somewhere else and actually will light a larger space. These two reflectors are the same size, but this one here will concentrate the light a little bit farther towards the front. This one is a spill kill. Uh, it will keep it from going to the back, but it will throw a lot of light in a wide pattern to the front. Now if you really need to amp up your power without changing any of the controls, Go to a larger bowl, go to a more efficient reflective bowl, and as you begin to step up in power, you'll notice a lot of difference until you get to some of the larger, very efficient uh, reflectors that will concentrate your power in a fairly small area and do it very efficiently. All these things can be done to make a rather large difference in the amount of light that your strobe is putting out. So before you completely give up on uh, having enough power to do a certain job, think about changing reflectors. It's an easy and very inexpensive way to be able to vary the power of your strobes and it will change if you change the size of your reflectors and the different shapes of reflectors will also affect the specularity of your light, how the light looks on the subject and that's also something that's a plus for the professional photographer. With another tip for the studio, I'm Derek Ralston from Photography by Derek Ralston. Happy shooting and we'll see you on the forum.